This is Chad and Dalton from Coyote Classics here in Green, Iowa. And today we're checking out a beautiful 1967 Fairlane Z Code 390. Pretty rare car. What a neat car. I had never even heard of the Z Code option on these Fairlanes. When I think of 390, I always think of the S Code. Um, but I wasn't even aware they had a, a Z Code 390 until we found this car right here. Um, but low mileage, very original. I'm guessing one exterior repaint, but the interior appears to be um, to be all original. It's got air conditioning. It's got the 390 still in it. Power steering. Real, real special. It's a really neat car, Dalton. As in the car, it, it doesn't even look like the same Fairlane that uh, came off the trailer. Uh, what about a month ago? Yeah. Um, we put this one also kind of on the back burner because it needed a little more buffing and a little more detailing. Uh, the lady had this one in her garage for quite a few years, and that's why it has su such low mileage. I'm not sure as far as the ownership if it was a one or a two owner, but uh, definitely a low owner, original survivor kind of a barn find and, and look at it today. I mean, Jason polished it up, the wheels look brand new, BFG raised right letter tires, we buffed it out. It's straight, it's clean, and it's original. Yeah, I, I really like the the fawn color on this thing. I like how light brown and it matches perfectly with the interior. I think if I'm remembering right, the original clock still works on this car. It does. It definitely does. And check out the under the hood paint on it. I mean, whoever did it, if it, it, it has been repainted, but underneath the hood, it hasn't. If you come in this light, you can see that this is probably clear coat over here. And this is your original paint still on your uh, inner fender area, your back uh, apron on the top of the firewall, and definitely on the original uh, under the hood as well, it looks like. Another thing with this car is the gaps are fantastic. We'll, we'll get into that as we go around it, but even with closing that hood and how it lines up, awesome car. Yeah, the grill, uh, bumpers, all the side trim. I mean, Jason spent hours and hours uh, just steel wooling all the chrome, polishing it up, and uh, it really turned out really nice. The bumpers are original. Um, you can see a couple little scars in them, but not bad at all. I mean, they shine nice. Same thing with the grill emblems. Uh, here's our gaps from front to back. Really nice gaps all the way back here. Um, we have a little spot here, a little crack there in the paint, I, and uh, needs an antenna as well. Pretty cheap thing to do. We haven't done it. Um, I guess it wasn't our top priority. As far as a uh, couple chips here that have been touched up along the body lines here on the hood, but the gap is nice and even. Fits really nice and flush in the back. We have some really crappy weather today, so we're doing a lot of our videos indoors. Unfortunately, we don't have enough room to kind of go around them like we want to, but um, we'll just make do with what we've been given. 390 emblems still look great. Same thing with all the trim along the bottom. There's some little scuffs and stuff, but uh, all in all, this trim looks nice. Yeah, it does. The car, the car shows very well. It looks great right here. Corner of the doors line up nice. There's a little flaw there you can see um, just in the corner. Uh, lower fenders are excellent. If you go to our website, coyoteclassics.com, you need to really check out the floors on this one. Uh, these fair lanes were just, uh, rusty cars usually they just didn't last very long the unibodies and and they were driven as a family car right kind of mid-sized family car uh, especially coming from the midwest they were just rusty on this one with uh, coming from missouri having uh, low miles this thing has never been really driven in the salt in the snow so um, yeah sure don't sure don't seem like it has a very solid car little spot right here too a little bubble right here at the very back edge of this door Rocker panel is awesome. Over top of the quarter is great. Same thing right in behind the rear quarter. That's in great shape as well. Looks like there is maybe a little shopping cart dang or something. Right there, just a very small one that you can see in the right angle. Yeah, right there, yep. And there's a couple little, there's a seam seal, guys, that goes right in here. And you can see the seam seal is in, just uh, lifting up just a little bit there. And there is a couple bubbles right, right here. See them right along here. Nothing, nothing through, nothing like that, but just moisture got in there and just chipped out paint. Yep. 
Um, back shelf is not original. Someone has put some carpet back there. But I do know for a fact that the seats are all original. You can tell by, for one reason, you can tell by the disc coloring and stuff. But look at this. Oh, that's cool. <laughs> There's no doubt in my mind that those are still the original seats. And you can see it on, like, right here, and then same on the other side as well. Uh, back seats, excellent. Door panels are great. Um, dome light doesn't seem to work off the uh, passenger side door opening, but the headliner is tight. Looks like it's never been messed with. No, uh, no holes, uh, no issues at all in the headliner back seat. Is excellent. Carpet is excellent, and so is the dash and uh, instrumentation. Really, for the year of the car, um, we have a crack here by the speaker. Other than that, this is this is all original here and nice. Steering wheel is in good shape. Uh, Fifty-six thousand one hundred and twelve miles on it right now, or one hundred eleven, I should say. Gas gauge works as well. It comes right up. Just turn the key on. Radio does not work, but the clock does. You can see that right here, and the clock's working for us. Heater fan works. Wipers working. Yeah. Uh, it's got air conditioning down here. That works as well. Uh, temperature gauge, little here, and it does have a manual choke. Well, we did put a manual choke on it, so. Came in, it didn't have a choke. Can get in here a little bit. Corner of the door, door jam paint, all that's really nice here on the on the passenger side. Inside the glove box, rear of paint here. Looks like we have the mast for the antenna. Oh, that's another tag. Um, there's the original paint and stuff in here. So the car's definitely been painted back the original color. I think it runs and drives great down the road too. Sounds good. We are going to take it for a little spin today. When we get back, we'll repower wash it just because we are getting into the winter. So when we take them out, um, unfortunately, we, you know, if there's a little road salt or something like that, we'll get it back in and we'll power wash it uh, when we get back here. Uh, chrome rail on the taillights and stuff's in really good shape. Got a little bubble right here, um, right under the trunk lid, but that trunk lid fits excellent. It looks like it's never been never backed into anything or nothing like that because the fitment's great. Um, got some surface rust on the original bumper in behind the license plate, but uh, the rest of the chrome really polished up nice on that bumper. There, look at that. As we look at the bottom of the door on the driver's side, the fitment is just great, isn't it? Yeah, what a cool car. And I'm with you. I like the color. I, I really do. And I would not, I'm sure no one will, but I would not recover those seats. No, you know, they, they're nice. They're excellent shape and they match perfectly. Got a little ding right here. It's a little tiny one. Um, another little spot right there and a couple of little spots where the paint's chipped. So maybe it's gonna have a few of those things, but I'm guessing the uh, uh, paint's probably 20 plus years old, mm -hmm. at least, huh? I would say so. Chip here, a couple more right there. A couple more bubbles, just on the, as far as the bubbles go, just on basically on the doors, aren't they? Yep. And then as we look at the inside of the doors, you know, they're super solid. Here's the bottom. You can see it's got the original rubber still on it yet. I don't think when they, yeah, no one's ever changed that rubber. Here's your uh, trim codes and all that. I'm sure Shea has decoded all that like usual. You can see just a little bit of sun, kind of like I call it a sunburn on the armrest there. Mm -hmm. It's fading, but uh, door panels in great shape. Dash is nice. Again, driver's side seat going in and out. It's not ripped, torn. It's got the seat belts. Wheels look great. Let's take this thing for a spin, shall we? Sounds good. All right, now we're behind the wheel of this 390 Fairlane. We're excited to see what it's got. Spinning tires already. Actually, it left freaking black marks there. <laughs> That's awesome. It's still a cold, freezing cold day today, but. So it's one of those that I put down in that, um, I put down in that green dot. You know what I mean, it has yep. that green dot there. As far as the brakes go, we have a little bit more work to do on that. It has just a slight pull to the right. I noticed they need to be set up a little more, but you know what, it stopped pretty damn good right there. Yeah, it does. It's got uh, manual drum brakes, uh, power steering, air conditioning. Manual choke as well, so we'll kind of be, Mess with that a little bit, fluctuate that. You can let us know how to get her warmed up. Yeah. So I had to choke out just a little bit there. 
That 390 has got some pull to it, too. a ton, doesn't it? Yeah. Had it low. Yeah, I did. The indicator's off just a little bit. So I thought I was in, showed it was in drive, but it's drive is actually between neutral and drive on the indicator. Sweet car, look at this thing. Awesome. That's what you get with the you know low miles. 56,100 miles. And I'll tell you what, there's no doubt that with the interior and the way this car drives, it's definitely original mile car. Look at it. Going down the road nice and straight, horn works. And we got a windy day today. I mean, I bet it's 30, 40 mile an hour wind. Yeah, easy. And it feels up nice too for that kind of wind. Yeah, we're doing 82 mile an hour right now. Speedometer works great. Let's just get it down. Uh, we'll get it down to 55, 60 here in a second. Gas gauge works as well. I think we talked about that earlier. Yeah, so that's about 65 right there. That goes down the road nice. Awesome car. Yeah, great car. Uh, really nice, solid 67 Fairlane with the rear 390. Check it out on the website, coyoteclassics.com. Uh, links in the comment section. And thanks for watching.